What's up you guys? It's me, Miyoshi, and I'm back at you with another video. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial on this look. And, you know, it's something that I was kind of like feeling more... I don't know, I just wanted to be a little bit more expressive with my makeup and just kind of like, you know, step outside the box a little bit. I have been getting some comments about, you know, doing some more easy and like beginner friendly looks. Stay tuned for the next like two weeks. I'm definitely going to be dropping a whole bunch of beginner friendly content and it's going to be amazing. But with enough with all the chit chat, if you guys want to get into this look, please stay tuned. <music> As you can see I've already primed my lids and filled in my browns so these are done and for eyes today we are gonna be using the pure festival palette I've been feeling kind of funky lately so I just wanted to do something a little bit more fun and I guess like I don't know and I have on just this plain black shirt um, it's like this and I got this from Shein and it has these long strings you can adjust it so because I have like on all black right now I was just like let me just do something cute and fun this is what the palette looks like when you purchase it and it's super pretty it has like a ton of like really pretty sparkle and shimmer colors like all of these neutrals up here but then it also has the two glitters here Give your pink and purple and then some matte neutrals and then this like really pretty sunset color which is called sunset all right guys so the first color we're going to be taking is called hidden desert which is right here and we're going to be putting this all over our crease as you can see i'm starting from way out and blending it inwards um and this is because i'm going to be doing a nice little cut crease type of look and with this, you kind of just have to follow wherever it is that, you know, your eye is. Like, because you want to apply this right above the crease. So you kind of want to follow your own eye shape. Everyone's is going to be a little bit different. I've never used pure eyeshadows before, but these are really pigmented. Like, super. Super, super pigmented. Okay, so now that we've applied that color, we're going to be going in with the color Epic, which is this really pretty neutral brown, and we're going to be using that to blend out um, Hidden Desert. And with this, you really want to smoke and blend that color out. So yeah, you really want to take your time and blend that out as much as possible. We don't want to have any harsh lines. We want this to be nice, pretty, clean kind of look all right so now that we have that all nice and blended we are gonna go ahead and start to cut the crease so I'm gonna be taking my elf camo concealer and this is in medium beige I really have been loving this like you guys are probably like she this is like her new favorite concealer but it's just so good like and it's huge for six dollars so I don't feel guilty using it every five seconds you know now for the cut crease let me show you so what you're going to do is you're going to take your concealer and you're going to pat it down in the center like that and what you want to do It starts to cover up your whole eye and just kind of like get the lid down first you know more so filling in that empty space that we left then we're gonna start to define so to make it a little easier all you have to do is just kind of look up and around in a circle like that and Kind of follow that line it sounds a little harder than what it is but you really just have to kind of practice i'm gonna start to bring out here and just draw a nice 
little curve connecting up to the top like that. You see, and you have something like that when we're done. Cut creases definitely take time and like practice, so don't be upset if it doesn't come out exactly how you want it the first time, because there's days I have where it's like, I don't know what I just did, like, you know? So definitely take your time and, you know, trust the process. All right, now after we've cut our crease, I am going to go back in with the color Hidden Desert and just darken this eye up a little bit. And then we're going to blend that out with Epic again, just so that, you know, we stay on point and stay in blended. Alright guys, so for all over the lid, I am going to be taking this color right here, which is called Good Vibes. And this is pretty copper color, if you guys can see that. And we're gonna put that on the outer parts of our cut crease. So, we're just gonna pack that on the outer portion. And as you can see, I'm not bringing it all the way up. I'm just kind of making like a wing effect with this. Now we're just gonna do the same to the other side. And you just start by packing it on and then brushing it inwards, like kind of like pushing it inwards and then doing the same outwards. And it sounds kind of tricky, but you really don't have to have this, like this doesn't have to be perfect. This step can get a little messy because it is the shimmer and you know there's a lot going on but you just want to flick it like that then you just gradually start blending it upwards but you just kind of want to mean keep the same shape that we created with our cut crease Now we're just gonna flip that same brush over and we're gonna go in with the color Psychedelic, which is this pretty golden, um, kind of like a golden brown or like a champagne. And we're just going to do the inner portion of our eye. Blending those two together. It's starting to look kind of pretty. And don't forget, you really want to pack it on, you know, get that color really nice and pigmented and condensed. And this one, I'm bringing slightly over that little gap that we left, that we didn't fill in with the copper. You're just going to fill it up there. Next, we're going to go back in with our concealer and clean up the outer portion of our eyes, just to make sure that everything is neat and tight, honey. We got to keep it tight. So now that we have that all cleaned up and looking cute, we're gonna start working on the face. So I'm just gonna put down some concealer. 
and apply my foundation. Like I said, really have been loving these two together. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-on-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is in number 10, Golden Tan, and then also with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's like everything has like got me undercover, like, seriously. You're probably like, why is she putting on so much foundation? Little baby face, but it's just my mood today. But no, I seriously love this combo. Like, it makes my skin look so nice. Like, it makes my skin look top five. Seriously. Yeah, I'm a little cake face mommy today. Also, this blender, this beauty, I mean, not this beauty blender, the Mochi Wonder Blender, um, <laughs> it does not absorb, like, any product, like, seriously. The product literally just sits there. I swear. I also need a whole new baking powder, but I'm gonna go in with some banana powder and press that under my eyes. I'm not gonna re-highlight, like, under my eyes because like I said this um, combo has my skin looking so long but I look really brown right now though like super brown <laughs> I'm just gonna do my nose my chin and my forehead All of that really quickly now I'm gonna take my LA girl pro uh, what is this I always forget high definition matte pressed powder and this is in the color medium beige I'm really just a beige girl yeah. so I'm gonna pack that on this really helps with my um fine lines I notice like It really helps keep them covered. It could be everything though. It could be like the foundation, the concealer, the, um, what is it called? The foundation, the concealer, also the banana powder. It could be a number of things. But I think they all work really well together and that's why my makeup has been coming out so nice lately. Like I've literally been so obsessed. All right, so now I'm gonna just quickly bronze my face. Oh my god, every time I open this, it just breaks more and more and more. And of course, my color is the one that's broken. Oh, also, I don't know if I told you guys about this brush, but I love this contour brush. Is this the, the Gigi Gorgeous contour brush? Girl, if you haven't bought this brush or like experienced this brush in your life, you need to get one. Seriously, this is the best contour brush. Like, you literally could just, just like how I'm patting it, legit. That's all you have to do. Like, it's so bomb. Like, it just really fits into those nooks and crannies. Look at that. Mm hmm. I look tan. I look tan as fuck. Well. I'm gonna take my LaRousse Kabuki brush and. This is the LR222, and we're gonna use this to contour my nose. All right, so now that we're all contoured up, I'm gonna just finish off the eyes really quick. So I'm gonna take my little boo, my little Il Maquillage ink liner in black, and I'm just gonna quickly line my lids, and I'm gonna take a liquid eyeliner and then create my wing. All right, so I decided I kind of like it just like this. Yeah, so I'm not really feeling a wing right now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put some mascara on. I just, you know, did a quick little base. This color looks dark on me today. Or maybe it looks like this every day. Okay, so before we apply some lashes, I'm gonna take the color 24K Magic, which is this gorgeous gold here. And I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner. So I'm gonna put that on my pinky. That's what it looks like. Ooh, yes. And we're just gonna lightly press that 
It's a unicorner. Do you guys feel like I do my makeup in like a weird order? Cause it's like, I'll go like in and out of my, doing like my face and my eyes. I don't know, it just makes me feel like like nothing's in my way when I'm doing my makeup. You know what I mean? Like sometimes trying to like blend out foundation with a beauty blender or like a sponge or a brush is really awkward and comfortable when you have lashes on. Like trying to like get under here and you have like these lashes in the way, it's like, I don't know. I'm gonna take this Fusion Cosmetics Blush and Bronze Palette and my Morphe Blush Brush. And I'm gonna go in with the color Blush which is here it's like a peachy apricot but it's it's not like really like orange like it looks like that <laughs> and we're gonna put that on the cheek perfusion cosmetic blushes are nice and really pigmented so yeah a little goes a long way with this stuff now i'm gonna take my royal and pinko highlight and glow brush and i'm gonna go in with the perfusion cosmetic sculpts and glow palette and we're gonna take the color here which is what is this interstellar and lit and we're gonna put those two on i'm gonna do interstellar first and then put lit on top honestly this color interstellar it gives me like my fancy beauty hustler baby but like a more affordable version oh my god would you guys have to see a dupes video because i feel like i have a lot of like i don't have a lot of high-end makeup but i do have some and i feel like i have a lot of like similar items that are more affordable. So if you guys wanna see a dupes video, I can do that. I can make it happen. And before I apply my lashes, I'm just gonna quickly set my face with my e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set. There's like nothing in here. Hey, right, so while my glue is drying on my lashes, I just wanted to take a mid makeup moment to thank all of my new subscribers i am so happy that you guys have joined and you know have been following me and like liking my content and stuff like that i also did want to give an update that we are almost 250 subscribers so the giveaway will be closing you know pretty soon um of course like i mentioned before it will close once i do hit officially 150 subscribers and then i'll make a video announcing the winner and you know all that good stuff but do stay tuned because i will be dropping a video of the actual prizes very very soon so that you guys can see what it is that you're actually subscribing for and competing for right now okay but until then keep liking keep subscribing keep sharing and be sure to leave a comment on my 150 subscriber giveaway video i will link it down below so you guys can go ahead and see all of the rules for entry and all that good stuff but yes let's get back on topic okay so for lips we are going to be using this is the coco by kylie cosmetics lipstick in bunny it's actually one of my favorites um for two reasons one because one of my nicknames is bunny and i just love bunnies like, and i look like a bunny but yeah <laughs> and the color is bomb so over top of this i'm going to be applying the el maquillage lip gloss in pink ice and this is like a pretty sparkly Color. It's like a frosty pink, but I think it'll look really nice on top of this. Baby, why are you playing with my love? I'm trying to be patient with you now. I'll never be so good. You pull me closer. Look me in my eyes and tell me how I'm hypnotized. I'm hypnotized. truly enjoy this video i know that like lately i've been doing a lot of like really like wild looks i guess but um i am gonna slow it down for you guys i'm really gonna start doing a beginner series um it'll be like a whole playlist and all that good stuff so if you are looking for more like beginner friendly tutorials please bear with me they are on the way but besides all of that i hope you guys um are staying safe yet again <laughs> i hope you guys are happy healthy and you know living your best life in the house 
Can't wait to see you guys in my next one.